so we are back from our vacation. We're done. It's now hockey season. Yes. We are officially back. And unfortunately, we have uh, some Back on a bad note. So. The hockey world is mourning right now. The hockey world has been shocked, and including us, mm. by the unfortunate passing of Johnny Gaudreau and Matthew Gaudreau. Mm -hmm. um, they, they got struck in New Jersey yep. by a drunk driver uh, driving his car and uh, he tried to overtake another car and unfortunately One Johnny went to another and Johnny Gaudreau and Matthew Gaudreau were riding bikes yeah and they unfortunately passed away it comes as a shock to us because it was just a random Monday morning a random morning and we got the notification that Matthew Gaudreau and Johnny Gaudreau passed away. Well, the Maple Leafs have made the statement and Brad Tree Living mm -hmm. has commented on mm -hmm. uh, the unfortunate passing of Johnny Goudreau. His former GM um, in Calgary. He was known as a great player, a great husband, a great father, and a great brother. And a great son too. And a great son. And an uh, inspiration to uh, the hockey community. He was an idol, role model to other people. To many little kids and little children, including his own. Mm -hmm. uh, I know they're not probably going to see this, but I wish nothing but the best for the family of Johnny Goudreau, his wife, his two children, his mother, his father. And the worst part is that and his sister's siblings. wedding was the same day. Like, and unfortunately, that was unbelievable. To his sisters, to his brother, we wish you the best of luck. And Matthew and Johnny, if you're up there, man. Just rest like in peace. just like Lanny said it in his post, they're probably playing hockey with the greats up up upstairs. Yeah. With the great man upstairs. So that, that it was it was just a shock. They there were rumors floating around the night before. There I was mean, a I rumor. I didn't want to believe them. I thought it was crazy. Someone was leaking that he was this happened. And then I wake up the next morning and it's and official it's from the NHL. And I so, was like, are you kidding me? Unfortunately, we thought it was a cruel joke, but it isn't. It's life. And unfortunately, the guy who... The guy who struck Johnny Gaudreau and Matthew Gaudreau isn't being seen in the best light right now. Because <laughs> he's, he's so condescending and so worried about himself. Rather than the two people he took the lives of. It doesn't seem like he cares. There was a video going around of his pre-trial, pre-hearing, mm -hmm. and the judge saying he's withholding his bail due to Labor Day. Yeah, he was going to be kept an extra week till Thursday and, and not just 72 hours. Doesn't the guy sigh in anger and say, really, I'm going to be held here until Thursday? In like, disbelief. Really, dude? You're, I you're, hope you're in prison for life. You're not even gonna. I hope a week. If Canada, if this was this was in the U.S., they can sentence you to the death penalty for taking the two lives, two innocent lives. Which I. Don't I really know. hope he gets the electric chair. To be honest, <laughs> get the electric chair, or get life in prison without the possibility of parole. Two life sentences. That's what I think. Apparently, they said the maximum sentence could be twenty years, ten. And 10. 20 years, both. How about that? 40 years. We'll agree we'll on 40 think, years. I don't think they're going to do that. 40 it, years. It's dumb. He's already 50, but I don't care how old he is. He deserves to be in jail for life because of not only did he, he could, he didn't even show any remorse. Like, I didn't want this to happen. I'm so sorry. I, and he wasn't crying. He was just there like it was a random Tuesday morning. Like, I got to best spend another week in jail. Disappointed. Maybe. This guy, uh, is there's a lower words I can't, I don't even, I shouldn't say. But and it, it was, it was heartbreaking. At and the end of the day, a lot of players stepped in to show yes. their uh, support. And a lot of fans at Saddle Dome, Scotiabank Saddle Dome, and uh, Columbus Blue Jackets Arena. Memorials outside, they're having a vigil outside, uh, a candle lighting vigil outside. Uh, Calgary Flames Arena. There was uh, tons of memorabilia scattered around the stairs 
uh, in memory of Matthew and Johnny Goudreau. And oh. it's, it's, it's sad, sad that uh, a life, a bunch two of lives have donated as well. Yes. Tabara's donated, Brad Tree Living donated, I believe Giordano donated, and Jake McCabe donated as well. Uh, Brad Tree Living donated 13, 13, I believe, and uh, thir like 1,313 in honor of the number 13. 13. And as well, in honor of the number 13, they just made an announcement that uh, Cole Caulfield will be honoring Johnny Goudreau and changing his number permanently to this season to the number 13 instead of the number 22. He's going to wear 13 on the back of his chest, uh, on the back of his jersey. For and Johnny Goudreau. <coughs> he played with Goudreau apparently. And he wore 13 at one point in his uh, hockey career. So he's going to 13 to remember Johnny Goudreau. All jokes aside, all enemies aside, all rivals aside, it was a classy move by Cole Caulfield. To and put much on respect team. to him. Much respect. That. And at the end of the day, the, the lives lost in this There's situation. no rivalry. There's no hate in this league. When something like this happens, which I don't think it's ever the happened before. The hockey community, no matter what fan base you come from, mm -hmm. whether you're a Toronto fan, Calgary fan, a Montreal Canadian fan, we all come together for the sport of hockey and unite. Yes. And at the end of the day, we come together and in solidarity mourn the loss of two lives that shouldn't be taken, that was taken too early. Um, so, to the family of Goudreau, deep his wife, his children, his mother, his father, and his sisters, we, we wish you the deepest condolences from us to you as hockey fans from Toronto Maple Leafs fans we wish you the deepest condolences and I'm sure they're gonna do a moment of silence at I and I hope they do at uh, the every first arena Leafs probably game. I think every uh, first NHL game in the in the city should be doing uh, uh, 13 seconds of silence there have been MLB games that have done 13 seconds of silence other leagues other sports leagues are coming together to mourn Johnny and Matthew Goudreau so full of respect all around and anyone who doesn't respect them those bums can just get the hell out that's not a true hockey fan a true hockey fan respects the hockey community and we're all coming together for this unfortunate okay. tragedy that's happened two lives taken way too soon r.i.p unbelievable but that's matthew as frank sinatra said that's life that's life r.i.p Johnny Goudreau and Matthew Goudreau. We thank you for listening to this message. We wanted to come and say that. We will be back for more videos. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.